It's Q&A time. I'm here to answer your questions that I asked on Facebook. Let's get into this thing. Lovisa asks, when will you be getting a Corgi? I want to get a Corgi so bad, so bad. We've already decided on the name and Alex and I sometimes pretend that we already have a Corgi and like imagine what it would be like to have a Corgi. But so far, no actual Corgi. We're thinking about getting one after my sister's wedding in next May, not this May, but the following May in 2017, because her wedding is on a cruise and it's kind of gonna act like our honeymoon as well. And I don't wanna worry about what to do with our dog for the cruise, so I thought maybe after that it'd be a really good time to get it. But honestly, I secretly think that at any moment, Alex is just gonna come home with one. I have a feeling that might happen, so who knows? Who knows what I'm getting a corgi. Samantha asks, what part of the wedding have you been the most nervous to plan and anxious while planning? Honestly, I haven't really been that anxious anymore. Since we moved into the house, I've kind of been like, eh, wedding, whatever. Like I have my dress, I have the venue, like everything's basically done. So I guess the most anxious I felt is about making sure other people are happy. And I know people always say that the wedding's about you, you should be happy, but honestly, it's really, not like once you get all your stuff figured out it becomes like making sure that your guests are happy that they have food to eat while you're taking photos and that's been just really annoying but i'm doing a really good job delegating things and like passing stuff off to other people i plan on doing a wedding update soon so i'll tell you guys all about that stuff but i just am annoyed by other people right now because i feel great like i'm so excited alex and i are really pumped about getting married and then just the wedding stress of like planning it for other people is really the worst part. Bailey asks, what is your favorite kit? One from your shop and one from a different shop. I really like the donuts kit. I've been obsessed with that one. I love it. And I also really like the June subscription. I just think it turned out really well and it's a really cool theme that I haven't seen that often. As for kits from other shops, I really like Planner-esque kits. Her monthly subscriptions are awesome, so I really like using hers, and they always have a really good theme, and I feel like they're just really strongly made, and there's a lot of stickers, and you can definitely get a whole spread out of them. I can't think of one in particular that I really like. She just uh, does really good subscriptions. Sarah asks, will you be doing a kit for the monthly view? I kind of already have. We have a May kit available. It's a two pager, one that like covers up the like header things, like the monthly header stuff. So if you have like a horizontal or an hourly and you want it to be the color of the vertical planner, you can just use those to make it work with the monthly colors of the vertical. And then it has like a, it's kind of like a mini weekly kit, but like a mini monthly kit of like bills due stickers, decorative boxes, that sort of thing. And I plan on doing one for June and July. I'm not sure when this video is going out, so they might already be done, but we're definitely trying to get more into the monthly views. Alex, my fiance asked, why are you so cute? I don't know, I don't know. Jamie asked, will you and Alex ever consider doing a horizontal sub? Honestly, no, to be completely real with you. There's not a huge demand for it. And when there is a demand, people don't seem to like what we make. So I don't know if I just don't have like my thumb on the heartbeat of the horizontal or something, but I, I'm not a fan of it. So it's probably not gonna happen. Megan, my little in the sorority asks, if you had to pick one planner to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? I really love the hourly. I feel like I really love the vertical too, but I've used hourlies up until I started getting into Erin Condren. So I think I would use some form of hourly planner, hopefully the Erin Condren one, just because I love the whole product line and everything about it. So an hourly, I would use an hourly. Samantha asks, what is your favorite type of washi tape? I like the medium thickness washi tape and I always really like polka dot washi tape. I tend to gravitate towards it more than any other and I love that medium size. I just think it works really well in planners. Kira asks, if you could travel anywhere, where would you travel? Alex and I have been really into the idea of India or Thailand lately. I don't think we'll actually go there, but we've been talking about that for a little bit, but I've always wanted to go to Germany or explore Europe a little bit more. And I think that's actually a possibility in the next couple of years. Christina asks, what other shops do you order from? I order from a couple of different shops. Um, I'm just gonna list some that I have in the past. Planner-esque is definitely one. Let's plan it. Have a parade. Uh, perfect papery. I think that's it. 
Pretty on Paper Co. Yeah. You guys send me so many stickers though that I like don't buy that many that often anymore just because I have so much that I'm pretty set. And I like your guys' stickers. Your guys' stickers are awesome. So I'd rather just use yours. Stacy King asks, what do you do with stickers you can't use? As in, if there's a sticker you have that you don't know what to do with it. So if I have sticker sheets that I've used like one or two stickers on and I just can't seem to get usage out of them, I'll always give them to one of my littles from the sorority or Natalie, who's Alex's like sort of sister. It's complicated. Every time I talk about Natalie, I'm like, ah, I don't know how to explain it. So my friend Natalie, that's how we're going to explain it from now on. I always try to give them to someone or if they're specifically like my stickers and I've used one or two of them and I can't use anymore, they'll go into the whoops bin. So they're perfectly, completely fine stickers. There's just one or two missing. But if I have like one or two stickers left on a sheet, I'll just recycle the sheet of paper if I know that there's no way I'm going to use those up. I don't like hoarding stickers. I try really hard to keep my accordion file small so that I can close. It's right back there. And I used to have it huge and bulging and I couldn't carry it with me anywhere. So I'm doing a really good job at just using things. And if I know I'm not going to use them, I just give them away or get rid of them. Jennifer asks, how do you like living in a new city? I love it. There's so much going on with Oh Hello that we really have to try super hard to like get out and go see the city. But every time friends come over, we do something new with them and it is a blast. So it's been so much fun. I love that we're kind of like away from the city. You could drive about three miles in any direction and hit like farmland. But if you go like 15 minutes, you'll get to downtown Grand Rapids or there's tons of shopping and stuff. So I love it. I think it's awesome where we're living. It's a best of both worlds kind of location. Leslie asks, what is your favorite hobby? I really like planning. Planning always was a hobby for me before it became our full-time job. I like beauty blogging. I really like watching Netflix and baking. I really, really love baking. Kelsey asked, what was it like starting an Etsy shop? Very anticlimactic. I remember working for a week straight. I took it off of work and I just worked so hard to open our Etsy shop and it just didn't do anything. Like I had one or two orders from family and friends. There was an occasional order over the next couple of months, but until I started making stickers and really diving into what I was creating, like I started creating things I was really passionate about and I liked, that's when things took off. But starting out, it was like the most depressing thing ever. It's like when you start a new blog and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna have so many readers, it's gonna be amazing. And then like two people read it and then you get really down on yourself and wonder if it's worthwhile. But if you stick with it, it usually has good results. And I'm super glad, obviously, that we stuck with Oh Hello. Megan asks, if I could live in a fictional universe, which one would I live in? Harry Potter, for sure. No doubt about it, I would love to be a wizard. Stephanie asks, how did you get started with your Etsy shop? So I've always kind of wanted to open a stationery store selling cards and notepads and like pens and that sort of stuff. So one day I decided like, I, I'm just gonna do it. So I took that week off of work and I created like five to 10 hand-drawn cards that I think are still available in the shop now. And I started a card business and it slowly progressed into stickers. Like, I don't even really remember how I discovered it. Like I was on Instagram looking through stationery and I think I saw like Carolina's craft stickers or something. It was like right when decorating planners became a thing. And I decided I wanted to do that too. And Alex was super helpful and he got me my first silhouette portrait, that one right there specifically. And it kind of just snowballed from there onto its life. If you guys ever want to hear like the official full length, like the start of Oh Hello, a history, I would love to film that video. I'll have Alex come and do it too. So if you want to see that, leave it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up so I know you're interested because it'll be a really long video I expect of us talking through the whole past two years. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are all the questions I'm gonna answer in today's Q&A video. If you have any more questions or want me to expand on anything I was talking about, leave that in the comments. But that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.